Hey guys, Chu Yang here and I'm about to do a little special episode about my own car that I haven't really talked about a lot at all, right? And I am actually, since you know, you see Bobby selling his car, you see Con selling his car, Chris Wee selling his cars, I think I am ready to let go of my V40 cross country. So this will be a, a episode talking about not exactly a review per se because I, I frankly, you know, I don't think I'm qualified to review anything but I'll just take you through how I use it and whether or not I'm satisfied with this car. Right? And if you are interested to pick up my V40, it's the first car I ever got. If you're interested to get this car, let me know. Uh, PM Tapi on any social social media you can get a hold of me. Like it's uh, by Chuyang on Instagram. It is it is uh, my my YouTube channel. It is my Facebook, or you can contact us through the Western Circle page or the Horizon page or whatever lah. I can be reached anywhere lah, huh? Okay, so I yeah for price and everything. I think I am letting I am comfortable letting it go at hundred thirty, and this is an all-in price. I will make sure the car is touch up. The car is in tip top condition right, because we are Volvo dealers of course we have our own service center what you think we got Volvo select we got our own service center our own 3S of course we can patch this car up as nicely as possible full service etc etc if you PM me I will give you all the mileage and, and the detail and stuff lah. so just PM me there and I'll give you there. I'm not going to put this on Muda yet so limited offer only Special offer. If PM me, give you the good price, give you the good service. Yeah. Okay.
Hi hey guys, Triang here and today uh, I didn't do the rumor, I do do in my car and I am driving my very own V40 cross country Now I never really did a video about my own car yet so this will be that very video Now, uh, I don't plan to go out <laughs> I'm in my car that's why I'm going to drive around in my car and drive around the, the, the compound lah. and talk a little bit about my car and my experience with it So, I have had this car ever since I graduated That was back in 2018, uh, July-ish Came back this was my very first car the very first car that I bought myself paid and still paying off installments by myself and I honestly think right as a fresh graduate there is no better car on the market as practical as this now, this is a 2018 Volvo V40 Cross Country T5 Now, the Cross Country denomination basically means that it is riding on a higher, higher suspension by 40mm and this is sort of a crossover la, right? compared to the normal V40, this is a bit higher it, it, it's a bit like wannabe SUV, something like that Then yeah, it's, it's a little crossover hatchback kind of thing uh, With 2.0 litres, 5 cylinders, producing 2000, 2000 I wish 2000, uh, 213 213 horsepower with around I think 300 newton meters of torque and it is just a fantastic daily car right, this is the daily that I use every day to travel from Penang over to our drop the top in mainland then yeah this is just my daily car it's my car that sometimes I go drive weekend with it's the car that I drive to Batu Fringi in when when you know when I just feel like driving somewhere this is the normal car that I use and have been using for the past one and a half years almost two lah right no that, that will be in July and four months each away long and it is just I got I got no complaints. You know, as a daily, of course, you don't look at it as a sports car. As a daily car, I really got no complaints about this car. It's of course Volvo. Therefore, I think why my parents bought it for me was that they, they sort of decided for me lah. It wasn't that they bought it for me, I still like the car. And they were like uh, before deciding on a car, they've always joked about buying me a little, uh, not joke like half joke, buying me like a little Honda Jazz or something. Like, yeah, you fresh grad, what, what for you want to buy luxury car? Even though it's a, it's a little bit on the cheaper end of a luxury car, it's still a luxury car. Volvo is still a luxury brand. And then I came back from graduation and I'm like, oh yeah, so you want me to work? Okay, oh, oh, oh. Then how? I, I tumpang your car everyday man. Cannot be right, you must, I must get my own car right And then, you're like, yeah, okay we, we get this V40 and then you pay for it uh, I go Nigo for you, the best deal And then, and then basically support everything Then you pay for it lah And then, okay, yeah, it's not bad As a Volvo, I really appreciate the type of Scandinavian design and as you can see from the little highlight clip that I put together This car is feature packed 
as in a safety feature pack up. As a Volvo, it has everything you will ever want. It has keyless, uh, it has a start stop button, it has uh, what do you call it? Steering, steering controls. Then it has all the safety features you would expect from a Volvo, such as this Bliss system, which is the blind spot indicator. Indicator, right? It's packed with power. The engine itself, even though it's not a sporty drive, you can easily use this on the highway and not feel like you have to give way to everyone that tries to tailgate you. It's okay. It's powerful enough, comfortably, comfortably powerful enough. And when you daily this kind of car, right? It's like, yeah lah, you would never, you would never need that kind of high powered, sporty driving in a normal urban setting lor. Um Yeah, in terms of usage, I've used it one and a half years and I use it daily to cross the bridge and come back. So that is basically, what, um, 20 kilometers, more or less 30 kilometers to and fro. In terms of fuel economy, uh, I don't know the exact calculation, but basically what I do and my usage is around, I, I, cause it's a turbocharged engine, that's why I use the 97 fuel from Shell. Fantastic, 97 is like, mm, fantastic. I use 97 from Shell, that amounts to on average 120, 115 more or less within that range for a full tank and I use it for a week of heavy driving to and fro and being, you know, running the cafe as well I, I need to go buy supplies, need to go drop by here, drop by there, take this, take that, take cake, take juice, take everything lah, take my life lah Jeez, and that's basically how I use it heavy use uh, but not rough use I don't take this off-road even though it supposedly can off-road it's a lovely car I like it because it is a bit of a rare car la. as in it's a cross-country there's not much cross-country V40 T5s that you see in Malaysia so this is actually in terms of uh, older gen Volvos, this is one of the rare ones that you can get on the market still. No, not on the market, no, it's, it's not sold by any Volvo dealers, you can only find second-hand uh, or used ones or pre-loved ones, as however you want to call it, in the market. Uh, in that budget range as well, within, like, I think it should be within the range of a Honda Accord or Corolla, I'm not too sure. It's a comfortable drive, right? And usually I use it because the way it's designed, right? I somehow found myself to use it, optimize the space, even though to many others it's very messy. Because I have, I think it's called Aesthetic or Night Blindness. I'm not sure if it's the same thing. I have Night Blindness, basically. And at night, I don't drive very well. I overestimate, not underestimate, I overestimate light and distance so I can be stopping like I don't know two meters away from the red light and my friends will be like hey what the fuck why why are you stopping so far away from the red light I'm like oh yeah I thought I was right next to the light so that's a bit iffy that's why I need my glasses right so when I got my glasses I just put them here I found a use for it I put them here near the dashboard uh, what do you call it the speedometer dash kind of thing it's a little cave in kind of feeling so I I use it there like that and then this uh, this infotainment system put my sunglasses here so that's how I use my car yes finding nooks and crannies that I can I can use of course I have this little thing here to, to use my phone and stuff right and in terms of the drive the steering the handling it is not the most uh, how do you call it? It's not the best handling car and compared to a normal V40, I would say the normal V40 the one without cross country handles a fair bit better especially around corners and mountainous road uh, what do you call it? Adventurous driving that handles better on those kind of roads 
But this, you sit a bit higher on the road, you don't feel all the bumps as much. And yeah, I like it because of it's, it's very versatile. Oh. Yeah, very versatile, very nice. In terms of storage, you, I usually drive alone or with one or two other friends. So my car is usually just me and best case scenario, another person. Then storage space, sufficient. I'm a cafe owner and if any person comes to you and say, oh yeah, storage, ah, this and that, ah, the best people to ask is a cafe owner. Because do you know the amount of stuff that you have to fit in your car? Sometimes you have to fit like two cartons of juice, some cake, some random kettles at the back, equipment, filters, uh, and then what else? Paper cups, la, all this fragile stuff here and there also. So this is fantastic la, for that, you know. Daily use, it's practical and it's versatile. You can take it to sporty, mountainous road driving, Batu Fringi, you can, no problem. But just don't expect like a, like a you know, sports car performance. Uh, this is not a sports car, it's a Volvo. Volvo is there for practicality, Volvo is there for, what do you call it, ease of use, uh, daily, very dailyable cars, and uh, of course Scandinavian, a little bit more understated, a little bit more understated presence. But it is still a rare car and that's why I enjoy my V40 so much. Even though it's a Volvo, uh, people say uncle car, la, this and that, I drive it, I'm like, oh, it's good. It looks just stylish enough for me to, you know, really still like the car. If you know me, my friends will all know me, la, my family knows this as well. Uh, if, if something doesn't look good, uh, I, I, I really just don't want to touch it. Right? <laughs> so uh, that's a little bit about me and the fact that I'm still driving it. It's a good sign for the car. Compared to like the old gen XC90, no way I wouldn't even touch that at this. S60, no way the old gen one, no lah. XC60, S40, all that, no lah. This is the only previous gen Volvo I will touch. The V40 or the V40 cross country. I think this is like the freak, ninth lap I'm doing around my condominium compound. COVID! Yeah, amongst all this COVID, I'm not exactly the most optimistic about letting go of this car, especially since, you know, economy is hit hard, uh, COVID is hitting us hard as well, it's social distancing, people just are not in that car buying mood. But if you do know someone that wants to upgrade their car or change to a better car or even get a more practical, safer car, this will be this will be a good choice for them law. It's a Volvo, it's good, it's understated. It's a very good car to be driving around in that is that fits all your needs in terms of practicality, power, speed, fuel economy, and at the same time not be a complete show off like yeah I drive a Benz, I drive a I drive a B BMW, I drive whatever whatever flashy other car, it's a very understated car. And that's what I love about it. It's the subtle kind of luxury. Subtle kind of luxury, subtle kind of elegance to it. And yeah, I really appreciate this car and all that it's done for me. It's my first car, it's my first you know, venture into owning an automobile, taking care of it and using it as a, as a, as a companion to my work. Satisfied with this car? Yes, absolutely. Even though there are some features, of course, like the, the dashboard is not the most friendly because you're never really gonna tick tock, tick tock all this one, two, three here when you're driving. The only buttons I use is media, radio, and, and, and that's about it. It's not touchscreen. So, of course, it's a dated Volvo and you have to take it from that lens. It's good, ah. This is digital so you can change some 
some ambient lighting here and there and then you can change the, the cluster, instrument clusters uh, uh, aesthetic colour basically yeah, colour so yeah no problems with this car because I've driven it for almost two years, one and a half years ish it's only been in the workshop twice for service nothing broke down as in nothing crippling that I couldn't drive anymore no, no, no. it's perfectly fine perfectly fine oh I think the battery died once no, yeah, battery died once and it was just a battery charge issue got the battery charge then we, we changed the new battery for the last service and it was good already so yeah feature packed I didn't die in this car obviously and yeah it has all the safety features from Volvo including the emergency brake or the lane change assist? no is that? not really sure yeah feature packed with safety huh? it's boron steel everything the technology and all the quality of life is still there it's still a Volvo and there are some design elements that I really like about it for example this dashboard uh, this no this this console is it's a floating console so you can go behind here and put stuff and, and lose everything behind uh, basically because you can't see it yeah so that's it that's my experience with the Volvo V40 cross country understated elegance like this is just so Scandinavian uh. Okay, so that's about it. I'm getting hungry. I think the family is, is texting me to go up and have dinner. Alright, cheers. See you soon. PNCP, if you want this car.